everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i really need a new intro so first of all sorry if the audio's a little off or the setup's weird the camera's pretty far away right now but that's the only way i could get this to work for what i'm doing today so hopefully you can hear me or i can adjust it accordingly but for now we're not gonna focus on the obvious issues with my channel so if you caught my last video uh and watched to the end I did mention just on a little screen card that I am starting to stream on Twitch as well as doing YouTube and it was just something fun that I've wanted to try for a really long time but I had no idea where to even start like I don't know I had no idea of what I needed or I would know what I need but don't know how to utilize that stuff in order to do what it needs to do to go to Twitch at the time I'm filming this as of yesterday I did have my very first stream. I got on there, I was in just chatting, and I just wanted to, you know, hang out and get a feel for what the stream was going to be like and what to expect and how to use all the equipment and the program, and it went really well, and I had a really good time. I was on there for like two hours, and we talked about anime and uh, the future of my channel and how things are going with that so that was a whole lot of fun so if you were there with that and you were a part of that thank you so much for joining it really means a lot to me and today um we are in a different spot in my room things are a little bit different so i have a desk here now so this is where my streaming is going to take place of course i still have my vanity in front of me where i film my makeup videos and stuff so this will kind of be in the background of that which hopefully isn't a super huge deal so i am going to go over that stuff uh here shortly within the next couple videos i don't have everything i want to have right now i mean i have all the right equipment i'm ready to start streaming uh some gameplay but a step Aesthetically, there's just a couple more things I want to get to my to my desk, uh, like a new mouse pad and just silly things like that. So I'll be getting that later on sometime. And then once everything is set up and exactly how I want it, then I'll do a video about my setup and the stuff that I have and what I'm using. And hopefully that'll be really helpful for anyone that may watch that is interested in streaming. Um, I'm not a hardcore gamer or anything. I really just play on my Switch. Before that, I only played um, GameCube and like a few PC games like Minecraft and Torchlight and Dota. Like nothing too crazy. Uh, I like very particular types of games. So I do plan to stream with my Switch. I have like a few games that I'm really excited to stream and that's going to be coming soon. So if you're interested in that, uh, my Twitch channel will be linked in the description below. You could also just type in your search bar twitch.tv slash coke and red rum. My handle's the same it is here. You can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram, which are also linked below, if you want to get my notifications about when I'll be posting on Twitch, because I always post it before I go live, so I will let you know in advance what time I will be streaming. Like, that at least will be set. As for an actual schedule with streaming, I haven't come up with anything yet. Uh, I'd like to stream at least twice a week if I have the time, so right now that's the plan. I can probably do more just while I'm starting out if again if I can find the time but uh, forever and ever I've done pretty well with my one a week uploads here so I'd like to do maybe like you know Monday's YouTube and then Wednesday and Friday I do Twitch something like that haven't made it that far but we'll figure it out but for now with all that said thanks for hanging in there um, so today we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing so I have a couple things that I bought for my stream and while I already had some equipment I need like the webcam, the mic, uh, the capture card, all that stuff I already had, I just needed a couple more things and it's all really cute and I'm excited to open it so I thought I would let you in on that so uh, we're just gonna get started here. Now first I had to show this off, it's on the charger. I already unboxed it, um, I have the box here you can see it so it's just a really cute uh wireless nintendo switch controller from japan it is all in japanese so um so are the instructions so i'm gonna hope i can figure out how to connect it 
but it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, it's super cute. It has like the little patier on the triggers there. So that is so cute and I knew it would match some of the other stuff I got. So of course I'm going to do like the pink setup. Like uh, of course I am, you know. I feel like I wouldn't be a stereotypical Twitch girl if I didn't get all the pink stuff. So that was number one. So let's start with the headset. Um, I guess I don't really need like an excellent gaming headset or anything, you know, if I'm just on there playing Minecraft and, you know, I have an external mic and all that, I don't really, I mean, it's not that deep. I could have used any pair of headphones, but I just love the overall aesthetic of the gaming headsets. And, uh, this one's pink. <laughs> And it's a good one. I mean, I know that, you know, Razer gets a lot of trash just because, like, every girl that wants to be a Twitch streamer is going to get, like, the pink Razer with the cat ears on it that light up. And, um, I did look at that one. I did plan on getting that one, but it's, like, $150, whereas this one was, like, 50 And they're the exact same headset. The only difference is the other one does have the cat ears that light up. And I don't feel like that warrants an extra 100 bucks. So I just went ahead and got this one because it's still cute. And it is a good piece of equipment. So I'm very excited about this. So let's just try to pop her open here. Um, I don't know. I think it opens from the bottom actually. Let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah, any meme you see about like... You know the the twitch girl starter pack or whatever it's always the full this whole line of the razor stuff with the the pink kraken headset and the chromatica keyboard and all that oh this is nice so it does open like this from the bottom and then there's the headset there i do see this at work every day you know my department is like right by the display that has this so i already knew what to expect in terms of how it feels and what the cushions are like and how heavy it is um because i look at it and i touch it and i sell it to other people all day so um the cord is a decent amount of length you know if uh because this will have to plug into the monitor i won't be able to plug this into the switch otherwise you guys won't be able to hear the sound of whatever game i'm playing okay so um it does have the retractable mic here uh, I heard that these actually have pretty decent mics, so you could use this in stream uh, for your chat, but I have a, again, an external mic that's pretty decent, so um, I probably won't be using that, but I do like that I have the option. I might use it when I'm uh, not playing games and doing the just chatting, like that might be, you know, instead of having the big bulky microphone in front of me, it might be fun just to have this one, so... Um, it is adjustable on the sides, which is nice. It's got a lot of padding in it. I don't know. This part just feels pretty good. Uh, it seems like it'd be comfortable. So let's just put it on. Plus, it's so cute. Okay, um, with these on, this does have... I can't even hear what I'm saying right now. It does have good uh, noise canceling just off the gun, just putting this on without it being plugged into anything. Uh, so that's that's going to be really nice. You know, if I'm playing like Project Diva or something and I do want to hear the music really well because I suck at that game. Um, it has the control here, the volume up and down, and then turn the mic on and off. I think this is the volume. I can't tell if this is the volume for the mic or for the headset. I'm sure it says somewhere in there. Oh, and this is nice. It's a splitter. Okay, we got the instruction booklet. It has some kind of digital activation code on it for something. Okay, so the cable it comes with is really nice. It does come with this splitter. So this is an audio and mic splitter. It's got the, uh, I don't know which one is which. I think the green is the, like the stereo. Yeah, green is the stereo and then the red is the mic. So um, it does have the splitter. So you can split the audio in the way that you need it. So that's really, really nice. I'm glad it comes with this and it's pretty long. So you don't really have to worry much about, you know, how far you get away from it. This is really cool. I like the box a lot. I feel like the packaging really shows the quality of the product. So that's really cool. It does have the cooling gel in the in the ear part there because uh, that's the number one complaint I always hear with gaming headsets is that 
it makes your your head and your ears sweaty i weirdly don't sweat a lot at all even though i'm very well hydrated so i don't worry too much about that but i did i did get really hot yesterday while i was streaming like especially when i'm dressed elaborately and i have the wig and all that so underneath all these bright lights i have it does get pretty warm so i feel like that's something i really appreciate like you can tell how cool to the touch it is so um this is really nice i don't regret this at all this was a fantastic purchase and i'm so excited to use it i'm gonna set that stuff to the side for now and then moving on next of course if i'm getting the headset i gotta get the matching stand that goes with it again you've seen this in memes on the internet but uh this guy's really cool because not only is it a very aesthetic stand you know it's pink it lights up it's super cute but, you know, that is going to help to, you know, hold these guys up when I'm not using them. That way they're not just laying around because I have a habit of treating things like garbage. And these are nice, nice headphones. I'd really like to, uh, you know, keep those in good condition. Um, but this guy here, you know, it's not only is it important with its functionality as far as being a headphone stand, but it is also a, a three port USB hub which is really handy because um, when you are working with the equipment that I'm working with and you have all these different things, you're going to need a place to dock all that stuff. So your lights, your microphone, your camera, um, whatever computer you're using. So I do have one little USB hub now. Uh, I'll go more into detail about that once I make that video. The guy I have now is just a simple little, it's got four ports, it's a mini travel hub, so not a lot of ports to work with, which three ports also isn't a lot to work with, but the two of them together will get me what I need, you know, I shouldn't need too many ports. The only extra things I'm plugging in are like my capture card and, you know, my monitor and stuff, so I shouldn't need too many more usb power sources so that i'm not too concerned about but it is really convenient that this is a hub as well as a stand because it's also a space saver you know a hub is just another thing that's going to take up room on your desk and at least this is multifunctional uh, so it's it, it is a space saver so that's another aspect i like a lot so they have the cord inside tucked inside this box Keep it protected. There it is. It's just a simple uh, standard USB plug-in. Nothing crazy there. So I can plug this into my other hub and then take some... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of a lot of hubbing going on. Um, got the protective plastic on the top here. Let's peel that off. Ooh. So that's super cool. Even when it's not plugged in and like lit up, it still looks really nice. I do like the shade of pink. The packaging, again, is uh, very high quality. It's got some weight to it. It's got all the foam lines so you know your product is going to be safe. Razor just always kills it with the packaging. Everything does look really high-end and nice. Um, it, it, there, it's just another one of those brands that everybody just runs their mouth because it's popular and it's common and it's you know, easy to get a hold of and has a tendency to be fairly affordable when it comes to gaming equipment because gaming equipment is so expensive. Not to say this stuff wasn't expensive because it definitely was, but not as much as other things that you can find. So this guy just clips right onto here. Um, hopefully it does better than the one at work because that one is broken, uh, so it doesn't stay together. So I've yet to see it when it's actually brand new and works. Yeah, so that just clips right in there. Super easy, it's not terribly big. You can set the headset on it. Ah, and I now have a Best Buy display in my room. <laughs> That's all I think of when I look at it. I'm just like, hmm, that display I walk past every day and say, I wish I had that stuff. Now I have that stuff. All I need is the, the keyboard that goes with it, but I don't really have a use for a gaming keyboard you know i don't really but i mean i might get it just because it'll look cute on the desk and go with all the stuff uh seems like something i would do okay so the last thing i got today is a monitor so i found one i could afford and got very fortunate because this isn't a bad monitor uh it's samsung 
which is a brand I trust. It is slightly curved, which I know a lot of people like think curved monitors are the shit. It really doesn't make a difference to me. Yeah, I think they look cool. I'm sure they do have a degree of glare reduction and you know gives you more immersion into the game you're playing but again i'm going to be playing minecraft and like animal crossing <laughs> it's not that serious for me but um this is a 24 inch monitor so it's not huge but it's going to be big enough for the purpose that it's serving me especially on this desk um right here in front of where the camera is this desk does have like a little a removable shelf that is raised so it has this monitor riser that I'm gonna put it on so that'll give me a really good angle that I'm needing um, again we'll get to that video I'm getting ahead of myself so let's see I believe this is just 1080p um, which is fine I don't need a monitor to be 4k or anything because I'm just streaming from my switch like it's not that deep it's not like I'm working on a $3,000 PC that's like freaking all these frame rates I just, it's just not really okay so haha This is very hard to unbox in this area from this angle. Okay, there she is. Just gonna lift this out of here. Trying not to, uh... Jab my fingers into the screen. Okay, so we got all the accessories, the power cord, user manual. Um, got the stand. I did consider mounting like a monitor or a TV on this wall and working from that or at least having that to um because this will be strictly just for my viewing this will be my gameplay and then you know my chat and everything is still going to be pulled up on my laptop because it's just going through my laptop so this is just a TV for me to plug my switch into so I did consider just getting a um a cheap TV but just the look of a monitor is just so much more appealing um, a monitor is gonna have a much more sleek and interesting design and it's gonna look so much better with the setup than just getting you know a cheap little 24 inch TV not to mention when it comes to having a monitor versus using a TV you know the TV is just gonna have the little feet and it's just gonna sit lower down than a monitor which obviously has more of a rise to it you know this it has this base and it's going to lift it up a lot more even though the part where my monitor is sitting is lifted a tv still would have sat like right here and it's not going to give me the angle that you really want when you're streaming so um that's why i went with a monitor the reason i chose this one specifically is because it was the nicest looking one for my budget I do, um, my only complaint is I do wish it was silver or white, um, so that it would match everything a little bit better because this stuff is all, you know, pink and gray, and then this desk is white, and, uh, I have a silver MacBook, so, um, it would have matched a little bit better, but I can work with the black monitor. I mean, again, no one's really going to see it and it's a nice monitor so I really can't complain for the price I think it was like $170 there were some monitors on there that would have worked for about $90 um, same with the TVs I was looking at you know some of them were priced around $80 to $90 but again um, for that curvature in the screen and the fact that you know it's Samsung it's not some kind of goofy off-brand or anything um i think it was really well worth it and I, it's going to serve its purpose and i'm not too worried about anything outside of that so here i'm just going over and you know i was going to go ahead and just connect the stand just to get it done and out of the way see if i'm smart enough to figure this out just slides into here i guess there's a little thing you twist on the base locks this guy in so it doesn't go anywhere and again this is like a really nice 
a sleek design because when you get into monitors and specifically gaming monitors because I don't think this was marketed as a gaming monitor uh, a lot of people assume gaming monitor when they see that curved screen. This curved screen has nothing to do with gaming monitors, there's more to it than that. But yeah, a lot of gaming monitors can have that curvature. But um, another thing with the gaming monitors is when you get down to the design of gaming monitors, a lot of them are just straight up fucking ugly, you know? We're looking at them and I'm like, I don't like any of these. Like, they're weird and chunky and um, Steven mentioned that when he sees some of them, his first thought is like being in the computer lab in middle school. Like, they're just not attractive all the time. So, part of why I chose um, just a regular monitor versus a gaming monitor Especially when, um, like I mentioned, it's not like I have this, like, ultra-powerful PC. You know, I'm just on my Switch, uh, so the display and things like that aren't really that big of an issue for me. You know, I don't, I don't need the high frame rate, I don't need the crazy display, I just need, again, essentially a TV so I can play my game, you know, while I talk to people on the internet, so... I think this was a really solid choice. I'm gonna stop manhandling it before somebody loses their shit in the comments. Like, why would you do it like that? Like, it, it'll be okay. Try to snap this guy on real quick. Easy peasy. And then it's gonna be sitting right here, which I can't put it there now because, you know, I'll be blocking the camera. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, really nice. Really like the design. You know, it just it just looks good. That's really all there is to it for me right now. It's just a good looking monitor. Again, I would have preferred it to be uh, silver or white or you know, God only knows, pink would have been fucking amazing. But yeah, this is and this is a really good size monitor. You know, like it's nice and. This is way bigger than I would even need because, you know, at the point my chair is right here, it's going to be right in my face and that is going to give me good immersion into the game, um, especially with this curved design. So that's all really exciting. I'm so excited to get this stuff set up and to get on there and hang out with you guys. So I really hope you all decide to join me in my future streams. Like I said, don't worry if you miss one because I plan to do it as much as I possibly can in between working on YouTube. But at the end of the day, streaming's a lot of fun and something that I look forward to being a hobby. But YouTube will always be my top priority. So don't worry about that. At the end of the day, I will drop every single thing for this channel. I love this channel so much. I love you guys for making me love this channel so much. And um, with that, I am Audi 5000 So thank you guys for hanging out with me and being here while I open up my things. If any of this stuff caught your eye, I will link these products in the description below. Yes, that includes the super cute kitty cat Nintendo Switch controller. If you're more interested in me going into depth about the products and my overall setup and the programs I use and things of that nature, uh, that video is coming like very, very soon. So um, I just need to get a couple more things when I get paid next week. And then once I get those things, no problem because everything's pretty much set up. I just need to put, you know, the bells and whistles in their place and do some finishing touches, but I'm very excited, yay! I can't wait to um, finish what I'm doing here so I can stream tonight. But yeah, check me out on Twitch. Subscribe if you just came here to see me open stuff. I mean, y you can if you want. I can't tell you what to do. I don't have that authority. They revoked my card last week, so I'm, I'm no longer the subscribe police. All right, that's it. I am leaving for real. Bye, I love you guys. Have fun, be safe, look both ways before you cross the street, and I will see you next Monday. Bye!